Anya Haseo. Firstly, I'd like to thank Committee of Advances in Functional Materials 2021 for accepting our work. I am Labad Madani. I am a PhD student in Biskar University from Algeria. I am working on wide and ultra-wide band gap semiconductors devices. In this presentation, I will present part of our research, which is cited on control of Schottky barrier height of nickel with a gallium oxide, Schottky barrier diode by insertion of a graphene monolayer. This work prepared by me, Labad Madani, Professor Nordin Sanguga and Professor Rafak Mufjah from Bistra University and Professor Istran Grim from Sijong University. Initial studies on gallium oxide were performed in 60s of the 20th century, but then it was almost forgotten for about three decades. An intensive, an intensive research in physics devices and applications of gallium oxide in last, in last decades placed that compound in front line of an ultra-wide band gap semiconductors development. The excellent intrinsic properties of this material include an ultra-wide band gap of about 4.8 4 electron volt, high electrical breakdown field, and high, electro high electron saturation velocity combined with availability of large scale production from melt. In addition to its low cost compared with silicon carbide and gallium nitride, gallium oxide has six polymorphs, but beta polymorph is the most stable. However, gallium oxide has serious drawback of developing P-type semiconductor. Therefore, it is used mostly in unipolar devices such as MOSFETs and Chutki barrier diode. In last years, the number of gallium oxide Chutki barrier diode related academic publications has, has substantially increased and, res and uh, researchers aimed from these publications to developing a high performance Chutsky barrier diode with, for example, low serial resistance, low threshold voltage to minimize heating during operation, low leakage current, and high thermal stability, and finally controllable Chutsky barrier height. According to Chutsky mode, Dual a linear dependence between Schutzky barrier height and metal work function. However, measured Schutzky barrier height is not related to the metal work function as predicted as predicted by Schutzky much rule. Farzana and coworkers, yeah, and coworkers studied effect of metal work function on Schutzky barrier height variations of gallium oxide Schutzky barrier diode. And as presented in figure two, a high deviations of measured Schutzky barrier height from Schutzky much rule. These deviations related to effect of interface states among the proposed solutions to reduce the effects of the, of the surface states is, uh, is the position of an insulator between metal and gallium oxide. Bhata Hasharia and coworkers proposed the position of silicon dioxide in interface between metal and gallium oxide. Then effect of metals on Schotsky barrier height variations are studied. For example, Schutzky barrier height for nickel is higher, than that, is higher than that for platinum, although the platinum work function is higher. So Schutzky barrier height 
values are not predictable. Another solution proposed by Harada and coworkers, they propose a deposition, deposition of flyer of flyer in interface between metal and gallium oxide. This flyer consists of a mixture of palladium and cobalt oxide as, as presented in figure three. And as presented in figure four, Schutke barrier height increases with interlayer thickness. In this work, a proposition based on insertion of a graphene monolayer between nickel and silicon doped gallium oxide as presented in figure four. Thicknesses and properties of the simulated layers are presented in table two. Now, in order to achieve the mentioned structure, Silvaco TCAD was used. In the simulation, thermonic emission turning through graphene moon layer and Shockley, and Shockley Reed Hall were, and other models were considered, in addition to traps related to considered layers. One graphene moon layer was, was considered was considered uh, the Schutzky barrier diode output affected. For example, Schutzky barrier height decreased from 139 to 0, 43 electron volt. Threshold voltage decreased from 1210 to 100 millivolt, and also a decrease in C resistance from, from 5 to 14 milliohm centimeter square. However, an increase in leakage current as presented in figure six. These variations are related to increase in turning rate as presented in figure seven. We demonstrated that insertion of a graphene moon layer enhances Schutzky barrier diode outputs by increasing turning rate, turning rate. We have now to take into account possibility of tuning graphene band gap and work function. These characteristics of graphene used for controlling Schutzky barrier height, as we will discuss. Firstly, graphene band gap was studied. One graphene band gap incre in in increased Schutzky barrier height, serial resistance, and threshold voltage increased as presented in figure eight. And as presented in figure nine, one graphene band gap increased an increase in turn, uh, an increase in leakage current. These variations in the Schutzky barrier, dio barrier diode outputs parameters are related to decrease in churning rate when graphene band gap increased, as presented in the inset of figure nine. Another important parameter is, is the graphene work function. So when graphene work function increased, Schutzky barrier height increased from 0 0.35 to 0 0.62 electron volt. Threshold voltage increased from 20 to, to 270 millivolt. In addition to a, a, an increase in serial resistance from 0 0.73 to 1, 65 milliohm centimeter square, in addition to a decrease in leakage current as presented in figure 10. The increase in Schutzky barrier height and threshold voltage interpreted according to Schutzky mode rule as presented in equation two, and the, the, incri the increase in serial resistance and decrease in leakage current related to decrease in turning rate when graphene work function increased as presented in the inset of figure 10. In summary, the effect of graphene monolayer on nickel beta gallium oxide, Schutzky barrier diode, are studied. When graphene monolayer inserted a decrease in Schutzky barrier height, serial resistance, and threshold voltage, these variations are related to, to an increase in turning rate when graphene moon layer was inserted, then effects of graphene band gap and work function were studied. An increase in Schutzky barrier height, serial resistance, and threshold voltage with turning rate decreasing in a graphene moon layer. 
In conclusion, we can tune Schutzky barrier height and other Schutzky barrier diode parameters by tuning chlorine rate in a graphene monolayer. And thank you for your attention.